G'day guys, Shaka back from Azure of Zamri. Um, it's been a while since we've done a bit of a video. We've been super busy through Christmas um, and then after Christmas as well. So we've just been trying to play catch up on a lot of things. But um, as some of you may know, our Chimera 2 receivers have come in, uh, which are slightly different to the originals. Um, as you can see, they've got a completely different sort of layout in terms of the style of the receiver. Um, you know, they've got a push pin on the side here, so basically you undo this pin here, push out your pin through the other side, um, and then you can pop the top open, which I'll show you guys in a sec. Um, and it just sort of pivots up. So if you're running our split scythe gearbox, it pivots up and sort of, you know, you can access the upper of the, rear, the gearbox and the receiver, like, instantaneously, essentially. Um, this one here is a stage three. Um, that came in, so this one isn't up for sale, it's already out for a customer. Um, we're just doing the testing and, and things like that. Um, so yeah, pretty much um, standard sort of run of the mill, stage three. Um, this one here is running 13 to ones on a 30, uh, 35k base. Uh, Leviathan split scythe gearbox, anti-rotation bushings. It has got our revised anti-reverse latch now, so some of you guys might know or have used the anti reverse latch might have been prone to breaking or things like that. We have doubled the thickness all the way around the anti reverse latch, so it's, it's twice as thick as what it used to be. Um, and they've been going phenomenal. So, um, with anything you do with manufacturing, you've got to keep up on top of that QC. Things are hard to keep up on top of sometimes, so we rely on you guys sometimes to give us some feedback and we can adjust our products accordingly. Um, so, for the people who did send that sort of feedback to us, um, we appreciate that sort of feedback because we're not just going to sit on it, we're going to go back, reevaluate, make the product better than it was, and make sure that it doesn't happen again. So, um, we're just going to give this guy a bit of a shoot down the range um, and get some numbers. Uh, he wanted 320 FPS, 35 rounds a second, so we have got an 11 volt hooked up here, um, 2200 milliamp, uh, 2000 milliamp hour, sorry, which doesn't increase the rate of fire, it's just a bigger fuel tank than like your little stick batteries. So we'll give it a bit of a, a, bit of a slap to the corner. So as you can see there, it's, it's feeding and running great. Um, in terms of feeding, <laughs> we have been testing our prototype mold injected A mag. So a lot of you guys will have pre-orders, things like that for those mags. Those mags are on the way. We did have to make some slight adjustments. Um, to the magazine itself, but those adjustments have been made and we are currently waiting on the next mold injected mag tester batch to come in. Um, we just want to mass import them and then send them out to you guys with any sort of issues. Um, we hope that you know you guys will accept the fact or be happy with that, you know, getting it right and instead of rushing them out and getting them straight away, you want to get something that, that's done correctly and being the first of its kind, we are excited to, to send them out to you. The last thing we want is for you guys to put them in your blasters and for something to not work properly. So we did have to make some adjustments which has halted them by a couple of weeks. Um, so they're not too far away now um, and the quality is everything you would expect um, from the hype that's been building with it. So um, also too we do have our new Apache Primes that we are testing at the moment. Testing has been going phenomenal. Um, we are adjusting the spring internally, as some of you guys that are familiar with Apaches might understand that different size springs can cause increased FPS, decreased FPS, increased feeding, decreased feeding, so we're trying to get that sweet spot, we're trying to get it right in the middle for where people are running anywhere between, you know, standard rate of fire up to say 50 RPS, and then we will have another spring that will be for those people who like to push it a little bit further. Um, in terms of it feeding, functioning, everything else is going 100% correct with it, so we're super stoked. This is the third massive iteration of the Apache Prime, so, um, you know, going really, really great. We're really stoked with that. Um, we have got springs being manufactured right now, so, you know, those Apache Primes could be a matter of, you know, a week or two away. Two days. Two days away. So, two days away, we'll have essentially the finished product. We do have the Apache Primes here, so they're not being made, we're just waiting on the springs. Um, all we're gonna do then is give them a bit of a test to, to a couple of uh, custom glasses that we've, we've put together and just make sure that they are running exactly as to what we would expect. So these ones are gonna be far more stable. So instead of having no, no O-rings inside the nozzle, so 
before you had the nozzle you know moving back and forth and the Apache and it was essentially there was no o-ring there to guide that nozzle so you had that bit of slack on the nozzle um, and some of you guys if, if you have some t-piece alignment issues or say you're using a certain rubber or certain t-pieces it can push on the Apache nozzle and it can push that nozzle up and down which would essentially cause a rub on the side of the, the nozzle itself. So if you had like a red one or a gold one or one of the anodized ones, you would have noticed that it would have rubbed some of the anodized off. Not damaged, but it's just showing that it is rubbing slightly. Um, so these O-rings, these internal O-rings essentially stop that nozzle from moving. It's, it's almost zero play at full extension. So for the airsoft market, that means that you're gonna get very, very consistent feeding, consistent FPS. Fast gel balls, it means we're going to get very, very consistent feeding. In terms of FPS, we've already seen Apaches doing 2 to 3 FPS, 4 FPS between shots. Um, and unfortunately, the gel ball is the uh, inconsistent factor when it comes to that product. So, just wanted to touch base with you guys, um, reconnect a little bit. Um, like I said, it's been a little while since we put out a video um, and just sort of show off the Chimera 2. Um, so, what I'm going to do now is basically show you guys what makes this receiver um, a little bit different to our Gen 1. So you undo that screw, pull out that side, you can see the upper wants to come off straight away. And then make sure your mag's out so your T-piece isn't rubbing up against it. Pop your top, and there's your gearbox there. So you can see it's instantaneous access, and then from there, if you want to put it back together, just make sure you reset reset your sector gear so that your piston essentially doesn't foul. So you've got your teeth on your sector gear. So play nicely. <laughs> Sometimes you get a first shot. Usually it's first shots because you guys are watching that it's, it, it doesn't want to, there we go. So semi seems to work a lot better for that. So, and then from there, just push down your gearbox, make sure it lines up. And make sure you, your gearbox is sitting correctly. Like so. From there, that receiver pin goes straight back through. And then just, you've got your little knurled collar there. So you don't actually need a tool to, you know, like an Allen key or anything like that to unscrew, to get it to do what you need it to do. And as you can see, it's all back together again. So this one here is ready to go out. It does need a little bit more stress testing. So we're gonna stress test it a bit more. Um, and then this stage three is gonna go out and um, yeah, make someone very, very happy. So we hope you guys, you know, follow this information and sort of, you know, this, this clears a little bit of questions up that we get about, you know, when the AMAG's coming and some of you might have placed an order for some other product and might have AMAG's in with that order and might not have received your products yet. That's because we are waiting on the AMAG's to fulfill that order. They are literally only a couple of weeks away. So um, providing all the testing goes good on the adjustments we've made, which we're 99.9% .9 sure that it will, um, you know, they'll be sent out as soon as they land. So, um, anyway, have a good weekend, have a good week. Hope you guys are all well. Hope everyone's happy and had a safe Christmas. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.